knows that at the end of the rainbow, you'll find your pot of gold. And through a positive mental attitude, you will find your pot of gold. And I'm not going to be speaking in any desultory terms. <coughs> very simplified. And that is, my, I learned a poem at a young age that I always refer to when things are tough. And it's called The Oyster. And it's a fun poem. And it goes like this. There once was an oyster whose story I'll tell, who got some sand right under his shell. Just one little grain, but oh, what a pain. For oysters have feelings, but oh, they're so plain. Now, did he be wrapped the workings of fate that led him to such a deplorable state? Did he cry up and call for election? No, he said to himself as he lay in his shell. If I cannot remove it, I must then improve it. The years rolled around, as years always do. And he came to his ultimate destiny, stew. <laughs> and this small grain of sand that bothered him so was a beautiful pearl, all richly aglow. Now this tale has a moral for his and grand. What an oyster can do with the morsel of sand. What couldn't we do if we only remembered to not let the sand get under our skin? With that poem, my treasure was found in taking those things in life <coughs> irritate us and turning them into a pearl, the treasure in the gym, like the leprechauns do. Mm -hmm. so